We have the mic with Patty Ann right now. Getty herbs and dust. Is that okay? Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met here on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place for those who are here gave their lives that nation may live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little know nor longer remember what we say here, but we can never forget what we did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they have thus far so nobly carried on. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here 
highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that this government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from earth. Father Michael's prayer. Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Let, tell me what you want me to say and keep me out of your way. I, 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 um, this morning we weren't able to have mass, but this was one of the readings and I thought it was very appropriate with all that are gathered here today. This is Matthew. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them, which is so appropriate because so many of you that are here this morning, thank you so much, and he is here in our midst. Lieutenant Greg Atlas, Engine 10. Firefighter, Paul Pensini, Engine 10. Firefighter, Jeff Olson, Engine 10. Lieutenant Stephen Morrell, Ladder 10. Firefighter, Sean Talon, Ladder 10. Chief Matthew L. Ryan, Battalion 1. Captain Joseph Forelli, Division One. Captain Thomas Moody, Division One. Following members are from Ladder 15. Lieutenant Joseph Leary. Firefighter Eric Olson. Firefighter Arthur Barry. Firefighter Thomas Kelly. Firefighter Scott Larson. Firefighter Douglas Olshoger. The following members are from Engine 4. Captain Farrow. Firefighter Sergio Villanueva. Firefighter Richard Allen. Firefighter Jimmy Riches. Firefighter It says his name right, Sergio Villanueva. I just want to uh, say a few words before we end this uh, remarkable day. My name is uh, Sergeant Connor McDonald. I'm uh, the NYPD. My father was Detective Steve McDonald of the NYPD. My father was shot on July 12, 1986, and he was paralyzed from the neck down for the 30 and a half years that he lived. He passed away in 2017. Um, one of the most inspirational the mentors of my father's life was Fire Chaplain Father Michael Judge. Father Mike came into my family's life about three weeks after my father was shot, where my dad and my mom lost a lot of hope because of my father's condition. But Father Mike 
somehow, some way, uh, brought a lot of love and happiness into a dark, dark hospital bedroom in Bellevue. And for 15, 14 and a half years after that, Father Michael Judge was my father's best friend. They would talk to each other each night before my father went to sleep, and they would pray and talk about the obstacles that my father had in life. And after Father Michael was killed, along with everyone else on 9-11, my dad, with the help of John Bates, created this walk that we've been doing since 2002. And it was a very small walk in the beginning. My dad called up John and said, hey, we're gonna go for a walk Sunday. <laughs> and this is what it's become. In my opinion, this is the greatest walk that we've ever had, especially what this year is about. So thank you all very much. I know this is a very tough year for all of us, especially in this city, in the metro area, but this is a very solemn week for a lot of us who live in the New York City area when 9-11 happened. And there was no way in hell that we were gonna forget our loved ones that were killed 19 years ago. So, as my father would say, it wasn't his walk, it wasn't John Bates' walk, this is all our walk. This is a beautiful day. It's a day to remember and protest our love for the, the men and women that we lost on that awful Tuesday. And I just want to thank you all very much. I know a lot of people didn't know what was going to happen, what we were going to do this walk this year, but um, John Bates, my mother and I, we discussed it and we thought this was, we had to do it. We had to remember the ones that we lost that day and we'll never forget them. When I get gray and old and I'm gone, I know we'll never forget them. So thank you all very much. Thank you for making your walk a spectacular, spectacular one this year. You guys are amazing. Listening to uh, the face mask and walking all that way. Um, I love you all very much. I can't wait to see you all next year. And I want to say, I want to say thank you to Mr. John Bates, firefighter Kevin Garvey, the Brudahop community for giving us their their uh, PA system, the Manhattan South Scooter Task Force of the NYPD, who are just remarkable. Thank you, guys. These guys are busy every single day dealing with a lot of nonsense. So they're, they're remarkable guys and they're always out there. You guys did a great job. And to the fire department, the ceremonial units, thank you all very much. We love you. And we're going to end it out with uh, Officer Ramos of the Port Authority saying God bless America. We'll see you all next year. Thank you very much. Give a round of applause to the heroes that are here today.